This is my DC style chicken curry. This chicken curry is big on flavors, it's rustic and it's hot. The chicken is so tender and juicy and, and it's packed with loads of flavor. Enough talk, now let's get it done. In a pan add cinnamon sticks, black peppercorns, coriander seeds, cloves, green cardamoms, mace blade, cumin seeds, few dried red chilies and stone flour. Dry roast them until they are nice and aromatic for about a couple of minutes on a low flame. You will know your spices are ready when you get a nice aroma of these toasted spices. And now add a splash of vegetable oil. Give a quick stir and let it heat up for about a minute or so. And then add sliced onion, peeled garlic cloves, peeled ginger and give it a stir. Now cook these herbs and spices for about 3-4 to four minutes until they are translucent. We are not looking to brown them at this stage. In about 5-6 to six minutes the onions have softened and at this stage I'm going to add a little bit of water and cook it for another three to four minutes. Now put these fried spices and herbs into a grinder jar. Now let this mix cool down a little bit and then add a splash of hot water and grind it into a paste like this. Just make sure when you grind it into a paste your, the mix is not hot otherwise it will splash on your uh, face and it might cause burns when you grind it. Now in the same pan add vegetable oil. Let it heat up and add cumin seeds. Let them crackle and then add curry leaves. Now a desi sal chicken curry is generally cooked with the chicken on the bone and this is what adds flavor into the curry. I'm going to cook it with chicken drumsticks. Apply some deep cuts on the meat and then make sure that you cut the tendon at the bottom of this uh, drumstick. Otherwise your chicken is going to tighten up as it cooks in the sauce. And now add this chicken into your pan. Now sear your chicken on a medium flame from all the sides. Heating your chicken from all the sides is going to add loads of flavor in your chicken drumsticks and also it's going to keep the chicken juicy and tender when it cooks. And now add ginger and garlic paste, coriander powder, turmeric powder, Kashmiri red chili powder and garam masala powder. Now put the gas stove on the lowest setting and give it a stir and fry these spices for about 30 to 40 seconds. And now add a splash of warm water and cook it for another minute or so. Now additional water will protect your spices from overcooking and burning. And now add your spice paste. And now give it a good mix. Now cook this spice paste for about 5 to 6 minutes or until you see oil coming on the surface. In about 5 minutes the oil has started to ooze out at this stage. Add warm water and adjust the consistency of the sauce. Now season your desi style chicken curry with salt. Give it a good stir. And cover the pan. And put your gas setting on lowest and let the chicken curry simmer on the lowest flame for about 5 to 6 minutes. This is going to make your chicken tender. And now when you open the pan, you have a perfectly cooked curry. You see the oil has come on the surface and curry is nice and bubbling away and it's smelling divinely. At this stage give it a good stir. And finish it off with freshly chopped coriander leaves and squeeze fresh lemon in it. Now give it a stir and look at this. This curry is so silky, so luscious and it's smelling divinely.